guys, it's Roy here from our Wilco 12 and EpicDroid.com bringing to you today a review of the Martian Notifier. The Martian Notifier is an awesome watch. It's been out here for about two years and I am very impressed with it. Now there are a few drawbacks to the Martian Notifier, but overall it is a very solid watch that would be a good start or a good entry point for those of you who are wanting to try out smartwatches. The Martian Notifier has a classic analog face to it, and here at the bottom of it is an OLED screen that provides your notifications. It supports both Android and iOS. Uh, the watch, as you can see, it does, like I said earlier, have an analog face. We have over here a dial. All this dial does is set the time, so you can use that here to pull it out and you just use that to set your time. Now the timepiece itself is powered by a standard watch battery. It does not take anything special for that. Here on the side we have the two different notification access buttons. These are what control the notifications. The screen is a touch screen but the functionality is limited to pulling up your last notification or dismissing a notification that is currently popping up. So when you get a notification or when you get the watch you can turn it on here and to turn it on you hold down the button the button for two seconds and it automatically pops on as you can see here the OLED screen lights up. So there you have your light that tells you that it's turned on and it also tells you when you your battery is getting low and you can also use it for a flashlight. Now that flashlight it is not a good word for it because it does nothing more than just light up that little teensy itty bitty space right around it and does no good as far as the flashlight goes. Uh, when you turn it on it does tell you what your battery life is at and it does tell you that it is currently connected to my phone. Now if I had some notifications on here I could push this button and it would cycle through them and tell me what's going on. Uh, uh, currently there are no notifications so nothing's popping up but here at the bottom we can run through these and we have our menu options so we can turn on a the flashlight you just saw we can turn on a do not disturb mode we can check our battery life has a camera mode find phone setup and exit now in the setup that's where you go to pair it to your device so you can set up in English you set up the date you also set up the leash that will, um, you can set up the leash. Now what the leash is, is that's where you connect it to your phone and if you walk away and you have this on your wrist, your watch will start to vibrate as that loses that Bluetooth connection. In the camera mode, it does give you the ability to control the camera so that you can take pictures. And also under setup, you have the LED, so that turns on this flashing LED here. Uh, you can set it to pair to Android. If you leave that unchecked, that's how you pair it to iOS. There's a few additional instructions included in there that you will walk you through that process. And then you have update mode and exit. So those are, like I said, the functionality of it is pretty basic. What would happen is if I got a notification, it would vibrate and it would go off and it would tell me that I had a notification. We'd see it pop up here on the screen. It would scroll across and say that we have a new notification. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a quick look at the app itself and see what drives the functionality of pairing this to the watch and what the watch can do with that app installed on your phone. So here we have my Pixel XL, and we're just gonna go ahead and pull up the Martian Notifier app. So you can see it's just an orange icon with an M and then an N. Pull that up and here you have the app. So it's super easy to connect it. Normally what you would do when you start it up, you just go ahead and hit this connect button, it finds the phone and you're good to go. Seriously, it's that easy. From here in the app, you can control the vibration intensity of the watch. So you can dial that up and down depending on how you want it. I found that two is a pretty good level for me. That way it doesn't go super crazy and uh, vibrate my arm right off. Uh, you can connect it, you can disconnect it, and you can also enable the do not disturb mode on here. I do like that functionality. I like the ability to turn on the do not disturb when I'm using a watch from here, uh, just because it's a little bit awkward to get to it on the watch itself. One thing I do wish is that this was tied to the do not disturb mode on the phone. As you can see here, I currently have it in do not disturb mode um, and airplane mode, but it's not enabled here in the app. And so even if I were to disable the do not disturb mode, if I had a calendar reminder or something pop up, it would pop up and it would vibrate on my wrist unless I enabled it here as well. Here you have the alerts and you can customize them. And one of the really awesome features I like about this is that I can customize which apps use the Martian Notifier and the notification access. With my Outway Watch and with my Sony SmartWatch 3, I can control them, but I have to go through and I have to disable the apps one by one. Martian Notifier takes a different route and they only allow, you have to enable the apps that you want. And so these are the apps that it has by default or the functions that it uses by default. It has incoming call, missed call, text message, calendar alerts, phone low battery, Twitter, and Gmail. So those are the ones that it has right out of the box. But then you can come in here and you can do installed app notifications. So any app that I have in 
uh, installed on the device, I can then, as long as it gets notifications that pop up here in your notifications, it will pop that up on your watch and it will support that. And so that's just a really cool feature I like there. I like more of the opt-in approach rather than the opt-out approach. And then here you have a repeater. You can set that up so it will repeat the notifications. You can set up alarms just like you can with your uh, Android Wear. So you can set an alarm that will occur and it will go off on the watch and it will allow you to use that to wake up or tell you to get up and walk or whatever you need to do there. Then you have the display. You can choose what time and what weather it shows on there in that little OLED display. And then you have your setup. And so you can do all the setup here as well as on the watch. So it is a pretty straightforward functionality. I do like it an awful lot. And I love that how straightforward and easy it is to use. So going back to the watch itself, I really like the watch. I like the look of it. I think it has a very classic and sharp look to it. One thing I don't like is I don't like the band that it comes with. It's not a bad band, but it does kind of have a clunky look to it. And it is more of a sports band than a metal band that I would normally go for. I do like the analog face for it. It looks really sharp and it looks great. And when I'm not getting notifications, I don't even notice that little OLED screen down below. And it just has a nice standard look to it. And then when I do get notifications, it lights up for a couple of seconds. It scrolls the message across. I read it, I'm good to go, and nothing nothing there when I'm done. Uh, one of the other things I don't like about this is the charging. So here on the side you have a charging door, and that door is a little bit hard to get open. But once you get it open, you have one the thing I don't like about one of the things I don't like about the Martian Notifier, and that is the charging port. So it uses a standard micro USB charging port. However, to get it in there, you have to use the included cable, which has an insanely long head to it. So this hole here is so deep that you cannot use a standard micro USB plug because uh, it doesn't go in far enough. It just gets stuck right there on the head of it and it can't go in all the way. So you do need to use this one that is included with the Martian Notifier to be able to charge it. As far as the charging itself goes, you just plug that into a standard USB port on a computer or a USB charging plug if you have it from another device. You plug it in, you're good to go. It charges very quickly. The battery for the OLED screen, that's what you're charging with that micro USB cord. Um, it does have about two days of battery life. I did also have a complaint about the battery life when it's connected to the device. There's a little notification in the top left corner that tells you what your battery life is on the smartwatch. And when I was going through that, I'd look at it just when I got other notifications, I would notice that uh, level changing throughout the day. Um, and you you would expect that, but it wasn't changing in a way that made sense. It would go from 87 to 92 and then down to 64 and then back up to 87. Um, generally, I found that it still gave me about two days of battery life, but it just kind of drove me nuts that I wasn't getting a consistent reading of what the actual battery level was at the time that I was using the watch. So overall, I think I would recommend the Martian Notifier for someone who's looking for an entry-level smartwatch that kind of gets them into the into that realm and gives them a little bit of uh, idea of what they would be getting with a full-on smartwatch, and it's very reasonably priced. You can get it for between $35 and $45 on Amazon. There's often deals and discounts that I see popping up, and I got this one I think was for $27. Uh, so it's a great deal on a smartwatch, a very entry-level smartwatch, but it has some cool functionality. It's easy to set up. It's easy to use. It looks great. I'm, like I said, I'm really impressed with it. It has a few drawbacks, but overall, a great watch. So would I recommend it? Absolutely. I'll have a link to it in the description below. Feel free to check that out. If you have any questions, hit us up in the comments. Just a reminder to subscribe to us on Twitter and YouTube so you can stay up to date with our latest content. And as always, just want to tell you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support, and you all have an awesome day.